today we're gonna go drive through the Buckner Historic District. These buildings are completely abandoned. But all the houses out here have been renovated and now it's a really nice neighborhood. A lot of people live out here. We'll drive through the neighborhood real quick. street the horseshoe I believe it's just a big horseshoe shape it wraps around up here so this is all the higher ups or the officer housing for the base and at the end of the road up here is the officers club This is the Officers Club. I'm gonna park over here and we'll get out and walk around for a minute. So this place um, has been renovated. I'm not sure who owns it. But there are prisoner of war paintings on the walls inside. And they've been completely restored. I haven't been inside this building, but I've seen photos of it online. I'd love to get inside this building, but since someone owns it, and I'm not sure who that is, I won't be getting in this place. Remington Hall. See if we can see anything. No, there's more doors in there. You can't really see anything. Well, I can see paint chipping off the wall. So it's not completely restored. But I know that they've at least restored the paintings. And I think those are downstairs. In the basement area. Walk around to the back side of the building real quick. I think there's a pool back here also. Well, <laughs> I mean, you can't swim in it. It's just a big hole in the ground now. Let's see. Mm. Yeah, they've been working in here. Can't really see a whole lot, though. This glass is filthy. Let's see if we can see in this one. It's so dirty. Okay, there's a bar over there. Looks like. I don't see the paintings. Maybe I was wrong. Yeah. It's 
actually a pretty big building. I mean, it looks nice from the outside. It looks like it's kept up pretty well, but the inside still has a lot of work that needs to be done. Can't you just imagine this back in the day? Just got the pool over here. Imagine they'd have some tables out here, maybe. It'd be a nice little area. Yeah, it would have been really nice out here, I bet. Oh, well, this is the pool. Right here. That's a long pool. I can't read how deep it was down here. I just see the five feet marker there, so I'm sure it got... Alright, three, four, or three feet, four feet, five feet... I guess six feet would have been there. So this would have been eight or ten feet deep, probably. God, that's a long pool. Let's see if we can peek in these windows. Not a lot to see, it's just the hallway. Hmm. No, just the hallway again. Okay, you see they've pulled the floor up in there and someone started to paint, but it's just this hallway right here wraps around. So yeah, not not real sure what's inside this place. I like the style of the roof, that terracotta roof tile. I really like that, that Spanish influence. Maybe I can see something over here. It's that hallway again. On the other side of those doors right there, I think there's a big room. I think there's a big fireplace in there. And some tables. colors. That's completely blacked out. Can't see in there. This one too. Well, that's all we're going to see of this building. It'll keep you wondering, I guess. Okay, there's a room. Looks kind of messy in there. Just chairs laying around. Paint falling off the walls. I love these ceiling tiles. It's so cool.
One more window. Okay, the ice maker. <laughs> All right. Well, it's gonna be it for this place. I'm gonna head back to the bike now and uh, we'll go on to the next place.